Hey there, I'm Teresa Lear Levine, and this is Becoming More Me. Welcome to this week's episode, which is all about health, fitness, nutrition, weight loss, and feeling amazing, living a healthy and natural life. And I have a husband and wife team here with me today, Reese and Michelle Hart, who have been at this for quite some time and are living examples of what living a healthy and natural life looks like. And they are going to share all sorts of really awesome advice, stories of things they've overcome, and unexpected tidbits about how we can all live a healthier and more fit and enjoyable life. It all starts now. Welcome, Michelle. Welcome, Reese. I'm so glad to have you here. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Um, what I love to start with is kind of some information on who you are, where you live, who you like to spend your time with, and maybe some hobbies or things that you enjoy that are not related to health and fitness. Oh, not related to health and fitness. That's a <laughs> almost, almost everything is, isn't it? It's a little I bit of a hard question. All that, so I'm not even sure what that would be. Maybe, maybe what I'm working on next, um, that would probably be something really cool because basically what it is, is I feel like we've already landed this health and wellness piece and, and who we help and how we help them. Like we're pretty, we've got that dialed in so well that it's like, okay, what's next. Um, and I have the next that I'm working on now and maybe we can unpack that. Yeah. Well, we other than that, where, where do you reside in the world and who do you love spending your time with? Yes, we do reside in sunny Mexico. We are Canadians. Mm -hmm. And a couple of years ago, we came down to Mexico and, and we decided that we're just liking it so much. We're going to stay here. Nice. What part yeah. of Mexico? We're in Playa del Carmen, near Tulum, Cancun, right in between. Very cool. Yeah. And when you're not helping all your amazing clients, who are you spending your time with? Oh, the family. Definitely. Like that's a hands-on. Like we, we love our boys. And they are so much fun. Yep. Like, yeah. And so you have two boys, ways. right? Yep. 18 and 21. Yeah. Cool. And they have their own place. They uh, yeah. they sprouted their wings last yeah. year and, and yeah. uh, scooted off. They went to Panama for a little while and then came back and got their own place. So do that. And then we have a group of friends here as well. Um, so, yeah, we've got a nice little community. Yeah, there's Very no cool. short of friends here. <laughs> um, yeah, um, I have to say, I was about to say, so you know how like older teen, like younger adults, they want to have their space and I'm good mom and I'm this and that. So I always have to find like creative ways to kind of sneak my way into there and just have conversations just off the cuff. And I cook for them. Nice. And so yeah. I'm like, okay, hey guys, I made you some black bean soup. Can I drop it by? <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Just let me check. Okay. Yeah, I can drop it by. And then I'm like, Hey, how's it going? <laughs> it's that's a, little... a perfect tip. I think that that is already working well for me with my college age son who, you know, I don't see quite as often, but if, if food or even like taking him out or whatever is on the list, yeah. then he's quite happy to see us. Yeah. Good. Good. good, good. <laughs> I love that. So, you know, and we're going to be talking a lot about health and fitness, obviously, today. And for people who are listening and that can't see you, I would love for you to share what your ages are, because I think you both look absolutely amazing. And you have to go watch the video version of this, guys. So you got to see how amazing Reese and Michelle look. <laughs> Thank you. So nice of you. <laughs> um, okay, so I am 56. I will be 71 this year. So amazing. And, you know, I was just on your social media the other day and saw that gorgeous picture that you posted for Valentine's Day. And all I could think of was like, Michelle's muscular definition is just like off the charts, <laughs> amazing, beautiful, gorgeous. I was, yeah. I was ogling you a little bit, I must say. So <laughs> how, how can we all get that body? How can we all kind of achieve that in this like midlife time? You know, I'm in my mid forties, you're in your mid fifties, Rias, you're in your seventies now. So how do we do this? How do we do this? You start. <laughs> That's the first piece. Um, the first piece is you need to kind of decide. <laughs> I'm going to do this. I'm going to put my uh, best effort into this and make it a focus. Because quite, quite often, everyone takes our attention, but we don't give it to ourselves. So we have to go, okay, no, I'm going to put my best effort into this. and I'm going to focus on this. So I think it's really important for those that are like overwhelmed with so many things. Just pick a few and do a good job with it. So if you really want to get fit and healthy, it's like, putting your attention there. Okay. That's the first step is deciding and then seeing yourself how you want to be. 
what does fit and healthy look like for me? It may not be a cover model, which is likely, hopefully not, but it's like, what is that for me? And how do I feel in this fit and healthy body? What's that going to give me in this fit and healthy body? Hey, for me, when I'm eight, literally what keeps me going is I'm thinking about when I'm 80, I'm going to win that contest that I had with the boys. So here's the thing. I have a, uh, a contest that I had with the boys when I made about five years ago. And I said, Hey, when I'm 80, I'm going to hike up. And I said, Knox mountain. Cause I figured I'd still be in Canada and I'm going to beat you when I'm 80. Okay. And so I'm going to be in training for that. And so I'm still training for that. So when I'm 80, I want to beat them. So I'm still training for that. So what I you do that. make fit and healthy fun. Like, what do you want to do with this awesome body? Cause if not, you'll limit yourself. You'll go, Oh, cause if, if you're still have angst with that, yeah, but maybe I'll have all this attention, then you won't even do it. So it's really going deeper to this, this whole picture. That's where you start. Absolutely. I have, I have more questions on that later, but I'd love to kind of rewind a little bit first and talk about your journey to getting here. Obviously our show is called Becoming More Me. And I always love to hear how the work and the things that people do kind of made them become more of who they felt called to be in this world. So and I know you have some interesting challenges along your journey, Michelle, that, you know, you've kind of overcome some really cool things. So could you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, I, I, th I know we all have challenges. So I'm just here to just speak mine because we all have them. Sure. And I think we all need to share them more so that they're not inside, that they're out and it's okay. So, um, so for me, I grew up, um, I've always been fit because I just got to move. I think because my brain's so active. I don't know if you can relate to that, but my brain is so active. Do you active relate to ADHD? <laughs> I probably am that, but I didn't want to label stuff. So I'm very sure. Yeah. So a lot of, um, a lot of our listeners have ADHD. I have ADHD. I so that's kind that's of the, the most here intelligent here people in the world have ADHD. I love him. Thank you it's for saying true. that. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Positive spin on everything. I love him so much for that. Okay. So another thing. <laughs> So anyways, um, see, you can see, right, the brain. So my brain is just like so active and I'm just like the student of life. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm, and I got to move because my brain is so active. I got to move. Otherwise I blow up. Literally, I would blow up. <laughs> and so I was able to, I was in every sport you possibly can think of. And I really feel kind of sorry for my mom because she put me in every single sport and drove me there and made my costumes. I was a figure skater. I used to perform when I was very young. Okay. So I'm used to audiences. I, yeah, I don't know. I just put me on the ice and show me what to do. And I'm going to do it. Put me on a costume, whatever. I'm okay with it. Um, as long as I can move. So anyways, moved a lot. So um, very fit, but healthy but until I wasn't healthy. And what, what happened was I had this, wow, oh, it's horrible. My chota, so I'm Russian. My chota said to me, she looked at me and she says, Marusa, um, you look like you're gaining weight. Mm. I took that hard. I'm like, I'm getting, and this How is how like old a, were you? I was about 12. I was about yeah. 12. Still yeah. some, a lot of subconscious stuff going on there. Like really it's taking it in like a sponge and making it oh. a belief right away. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, and I always thought of myself as like, I don't know, not that. <laughs> and then um, I didn't even think of that. Right. And so I'm like, oh, then if that's the case, I feel ashamed. And no one will like me, but I love people. I love to perform. I love to help. I like to make people laugh, inspire, motivate. I'm like, well, they won't like somebody who's like that. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought when I was 12. I'm like, oh, well, I guess I should lose weight. I don't even know how to do that. I had no idea. And then weird. Um, I heard this conversation with the same age, maybe a little older um, mm -hmm. girls. And they were all huddling around this one who was slim. And they said, hey, you look so good. How'd you do it? Oh, she goes, oh, I just, I don't eat much. Oh, okay. I used to eat a lot. As a kid, I was very active. I'm like, okay, I'll just eat less. That's it. Okay, I'll just eat less. I don't know. And um, so I ate less, but I got really good at eating less. I took it too far. Mm. It was, my mom was noticing. I was like, went from this fit, healthy, athletic I probably wasn't even overweight. I just took it that way. Literally, I don't, I, I couldn't have been to skinny, scrawny, not myself. And my mom got really worried. I mean, she saw her daughter just like yeah. disappearing what's going on Medusa, you know, like what's, and so she took me to, oh, a doctor. Of course he was a natural doctor because we were into natural medicine, natural food, la la la. And Dr. Wagstaff, 
and he was in West Bank. Yeah, I remember. And he's like, oh, well, <laughs> uh, you have, listen to me. He looked at me, listen to me. You have a uh, body of an 80-year-old grandma. You are wasting away and you need to eat. Okay. Uh, and that can be almost as harmful as the other statement too. It's like two I very extreme about, statements. Totally. That are opinion-based. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, if I don't eat, I'm going to die. Like, that's how I felt. Like, I'm like, this is the information that's going on in this 12 year old head. We're not mature yet. Like, this is going on. It's making an impact. It made it such an impact that it it was like two decades of trying to figure this stuff out. That's how, that's that impact of those two bits of information. And so I'm like, okay, now I got to fix that. How do I do that? And that's what started me on my journey. I had an eating disorder. I starved myself to be thin. And I also created osteoporosis. Not only did I, I lose my muscle mass and everything, I lost my bone mass. And that meant if I fell, I could easily be put in a hospital because I had an 80 year old, like, like weak body. That's crazy. Yeah. And that was scary. I was scared. And you've done something really cool and you've actually reversed the osteoporosis, which is not something that we hear about very much. So how did you start that journey or even think, gosh, this is possible? Something inside of me just wanted to, I, I can't even explain what that is. It, there's something inside of me going, you got to find the answer. You got to find the answer. Um, and I was looking and then the sad part is, is I got worse. I, I actually followed the wrong advice for a while. And I, not only did I like feel really tired, but my hair started to fall out and I was just doing all the wrong things. Cause I was following mainstream advice. I thought that that's what I, Oh, well, what do I do? Oh, just follow what we're told to do. This is the healthy diet, low fat. So, you know, reduce the fat, um, stay active, um, make sure you eat. Um, don't do the butter. No, have the margarine because that's heart healthy. Uh, don't do the sugar. No, do Splenda because that's, you know, it's it's healthier for you. Sugar's bad. Don't have fat. No, have all these carbs and, um, you know, move whatever. All I can think of is how many different diets and fads Reese has seen in seven decades because we have had some crazy, crazy stuff come down the pike, even just like in, you know, the last 20, 30 years. And it's amazing the ways that we've been recommended or coached or, you know, uh, manipulated to, you know, eat and feed ourselves. Yeah. They're all yeah, I, marketing messages. I right? didn't have a coach. I'm like, I had to figure this out myself, but they, they didn't even have coaches. Remember I'm 56. Like back then there was, there was no coaches and we had books and we didn't have what we have now. And so I had to try and figure it out, but I would, I ruthlessly go and find out, but I was following mainstream and I, and it's not their fault. That's, their job is to sell more stuff, but it's not really, a lot of it's not to do with their health. And I didn't know that then. I was just trying to get my health back. And then the doctors were amazing. They're so good. They're like, hey, we've got like the, the medication for you. This is really good to, you know, reverse your osteoporosis. Otherwise you can la la la. I'm like, for something inside of me again. It's like, that doesn't feel right. Like I'm starving myself. That's not going to help me get my bones back. I, I'm not eating you know, and what I'm eating isn't working. So I knew that wasn't the answer. And I just kept searching. I never gave up. I'm like, no, I just want to feel good. Yeah. And I did find the answer. <laughs> what did it turn out to be for you? Uh, well, it started with um, hiring an, a naturopathic doctor who got me started. Because what happened was, um, I literally was walking in West Vancouver, along the street, and there was a a bookstore called Mosaic Books in West Vancouver. I remember this because I was living there. I was studying to be um, in, in medicine myself. And so anyways, um, I'm walking by and I see this magazine in the storefront. It just like, it was almost like weird because it was like shining. It's like, look at me, read me. And I, I looked at it and it was called the Alive Health Magazine, Alive Health. Uh-huh. I'm like, I just want to feel alive. Like literally it spoke to me. I just want to feel alive because I was feeling dead. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, I want it. So I, I went to the store. I picked up the magazine called the live health. And it was completely opposite information that I've been listening to the whole time. I'm like, and I'm flipping through it going, this is different. This is different. What I'm doing isn't working. So this is different. This is like whole foods, natural medicine, supplements, natural doctors, la la la, natural lifestyle. I'm like, 
oh, this feels right. Like it was nourishing. It wasn't like deprived, 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 blah, blah, blah. No, it's like nourish. I'm like, and feel alive. I'm like, oh. so then I just basically, you couldn't take the book out of my hand. I read it from start to finish. I'm like, oh, oh this is what I want. And then I hired a natural doctor because of the magazine. And then he got me started. And then I just took off from there. I just learned everything you possibly could about health and wellness and how I want to solve this one problem. What was it? How can I eat um, foods that I love and be fit and healthy? Like, uh, is it that difficult? Do I have to like keep starving, depriving and all that? I don't want to do that. No, I want to eat like just eat foods that are going to make me fit and healthy. And I solved that problem and then it built my bones up and it was, yeah. So I did. That's awesome. And then I met him. Very inspiring. Oh, medication. oh yeah. And no so medication. For you, Reese, where, where did you kind of come into your fitness journey? When did that start appealing to you in your life? I was very young. I was about 11 years old and I would go to, um, uh, health food stores and back then they didn't have very much in a health food store you'd have brewer's yeast and some you know desiccated liver some really weird stuff um and the odd vitamin bottle and so I started to learn about vitamins I was like you know this is really interesting and then I went from there and started to read um, medical manuals at a young young age Grey's Anatomy like big books on because I was like you know this is super cool. The human body is really, really cool. I remember reading Joe's body and it was yeah. talking about every organ system. And I was like, wow, this is really fascinating. And then um, as time went on, I, I thought I was a very skinny guy back then. Um, I was six foot three, 125 pounds. So I was literally about a hundred pounds less than I weigh currently. Uh, so I, and, uh, and I had an Afro back then cause that was kind of stylish. So I looked kind of like a Q-tip. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to see pictures at some point, Reese. But that is, I think it's funny what you're talking about with like, you know, kind of geeking out on vitamins and things. I always joke that when I was in high school, I was writing like papers on supplementation. And I think I was the only high schooler that was like loving reading Prevention Magazine. Wow, Prevention, for sure. Oh, yeah, well, we know was, that one. That oh, was, good for you. That was awesome. But... At the same time, um, I, I, was, uh, I got into yoga back then, like at this very tender young age. <laughs> Uh, before yoga was cool, like way decades before yoga was cool. And um, I found out all these things that you could do with yoga that was like, again, fascinating, you know, the human body and the mind. And it got into the mind a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, hypnotism and all kinds mm -hmm. of different things. How you can change your state of mind just by, you know, beliefs, right? Absolutely. Uh, so that was super duper cool. And then as I would go through my younger years, I was always helping people with this information. And at one point, a friend of mine said, hey, you know, you're helping people with this. Why don't you do it for a job? And I was like, what kind of job? And I got into, um, I worked at a health club when I was um, out of school, out of high school. And so I, I started off as an instructor and then I became a system manager, a manager, went on from there. I owned my own gym eventually and uh, kind of carried on and then, this person that said this to me and I was like, Oh, it's just, yeah, there's somebody looking for a representative for a vitamin company. So I ended up working for a vitamin company and, and uh, did distribution and brokering and so forth, learned all about the manufacturing and I would do manufacturing tours because I found it fascinating with people mm -hmm. that come through the manufacturing plant. And then from there, we went on to develop our own line of supplements, um, did brokerage and then carried on doing trainings in Canada and the United States helping uh, health food retailers to understand better what all kinds of products could do for their clientele. And so I'd be in stores talking to, oh gosh, hundreds of clients over a period of a month, uh, helping them with their health challenges and learning just a little bit more about what the challenges were and providing them with solutions. Mm -hmm. Very cool. And I know, um, Michelle, you helped collaborate with Bob Proctor at one point also. And oh, so you guys had a lot of interesting things. Yeah, there's you holding up the book, but read the name of the, the book in case people are interested in learning more. Yeah, so that was cool working with him. Uh, the Science of Perfect Weight, A New Way of Thinking, Eating and Living to Achieve Your Perfect Weight. So what happened was um, Bob Proctor's company was looking for a nutritionist to help work with Bob. Bob would do the mind, I would do the nutrition, and then we would share this information to help those 
um, typically like over 40, uh, over 40, over 50, who wanted to just like lose the weight and keep it off for life with a different approach. And so they were, he was sent to me and then we worked together and um, that was so fun. I guess yeah, I'm a huge get, Bob Proctor fan. Oh, yeah. I get to be in his presence and, and just talk to his people and I'll always remember that. So it was, I was very grateful to have that opportunity. Yeah. And when was that? Um, well, let's see. Oh, I keep forgetting. Uh, cause I wrote my book after that. Um, I think it was about like 10 years ago. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. So it was about, awesome. yeah. And then they wanted to write another book and then I had a second child. I'm like <laughs> too much. <laughs> I want to dedicate my time to my second child. And then I just wrote my book, my second book, um, just well after I had my second child. So then that way I could still stay in, in the yeah. arena and just just this is for families the, this last one here the fit and healthy plan it's for the families to help i because i raised a healthy family with reese and i wanted to just like share how simple and easy it is um and then go through bottlenecks like picky eaters and that so that's what that book is it makes it super simple and easy but it covers all their bases to be fit and healthy as a family yeah how do you incorporate like your health and nutrition philosophies into your family life especially like with your kids who are now young men but you know when it was when they were younger. Yeah. When they were kidlets. You know what? It's not what you say. It's what you do. And all I wanted to do was first of all, come from love every time you can never make a mistake coming from love. And second of all, um, I wanted them to know what fit and healthy was. So they just were immersed in it right from the very start. So, um, and that's like, okay, just cause you didn't start at the very start. Doesn't mean you can't start now no. is what I'm saying, but it's more of who you are and what you do. Cause they watch that. And so if you want to have a healthy kids, you need to be that person yourself. Yes. And then they watch that because um, you don't want to be somebody who's a hypocrite. Say, yeah, you don't eat that. And then you're eating it. Like, that's not good. Right. So, and we have to know that they're watching, like they keep us accountable. All the time. Um, and so I think it's just like, here's the thing. I always look at, here's, I always saw it. You can't control them, but you can put them in an environment where they can pick. And then they can see the result. And so just set a healthy environment. So like your kitchen needs to be a wellness kitchen. Keep it as, and and find out, like we teach this stuff, like how to have a wellness kitchen. It's super, super easy, but I'm letting you know right now, that's the hub. Your tissues are made of the food you eat yes. and your kids are still growing. Like they grow till 25. So they're still pliable. They're still growing and their brains are still growing. Mm -hmm. And so their tissues are made of the foods they're eating. And so basically um, it's, it's really important to eat. And there's a lot of junk out there. Yeah. And we have to, we have to go against the curve just so, you know, if you want to be normal, then you're not going to be healthy. No. Normal is not healthy anymore, but why do we all have to be like that? Why, why can't we normalize health now? And that's the mission that we're on right now. I'm telling you right now, it's a strong mission. And I, that's why you can see this enthusiasm because I know what it feels like to feel like crap. And that sucks, but it's amazing to feel so good. See, I can go on all day. I, I know you can, I know you can. <laughs> for, for me, I think like the challenge that I find myself facing, having been like super fit at various points in my life is yeah. like all the midlife tweaks, like that's what throws me for a loop. And I'm wondering if you can speak to that at all, because I still work out every day, sometimes, you know, two workouts a day, I eat pretty healthy and not as healthy as I did when I was super fit. Yeah, I'll give it that. And, um, you know, I, I have definitely have like an interest and I'm, I'm good at committing to things when I do them. So what kind of things end up happening in midlife that we need to be like really looking at and how do we counter There's three. counteract them? There's three. Go ahead. <laughs> I can just nail it right now. There's three things change. You need to change with it. Yes. Okay. So just so you know, you're not 20 and we have to know that we're not 20. Our brains can be 20. Our bodies are not 20. Um, so we have to know that our bodies are shifting. What does that mean? That means three things. The first one is your, there's blood sugar dysregulation as you get older. We already know that the body has a harder time to manage blood sugar. So what does that mean? You need to shift your diet to balance your blood sugar. Number one, if not, you will always pack on the weight. And if you have stress on top of that, which I'm getting to now, that's where the belly fat comes in. 
stress and blood sugar dysregulation, that's the belly fat. And so we need to find um, ways that work for the individual to manage stress. Okay. So we have a list on that and then the blood sugar regulation, that's where the, in, that's where the diet comes in. So you want to be able to eat where you, you know, raise insulin, whatever, just slightly, but not like shoot it up. Okay. Cause as soon as you do that, it's going to restore fat and you need to do everything you can to actually burn fat. And really what you're doing is you're building muscle. Yeah. So we've got the blood sugar regulation. We have the, um, the stress response, because we tend to get more stress as we get older because of what happens hormonally. And then the third piece is inflammation. So what happens is our bodies become more inflamed as we get older. And so we have to know that we need to, we need to bring that down. And so that's all diet lifestyle and then detox. We, we need to clear away mental issues, like just clear away what's not working for you, like toxic chemicals from the body, toxic mind. We need to clear this and move on to the next. So those are the three things that we want to focus on. Yeah. Cause it's like and then the area of life where we have to just kind of break up with who we are and become that next version. Mm -hmm. That's it. And then not to focus so much on the weight loss, but focus on building muscle. Yeah. Being... I love building muscle. I could like weight loss every day and just love it. But like, yeah. that's like my favorite. So that, that I love, but I just don't feel like the body responds quite the same, even when I tweak things and, you know, uh, okay. So then that's, yeah, there's a certain way to eat, to build the muscle though. And the first thing you want to think about is protein. That's number one. Like, where's the appetite going? One of the things that we do with our clients when we first get together with them is we do a very in-depth questionnaire mm -hmm. yeah. that they would fill out. And once we've done that, or once they've done that, and we get together and we have a look at it, it's very transparent. It's very simple to see where which body system is breaking down or needs more support. Yeah. And it's different for everybody, right? So somebody could be at a certain age, let's just say 40, and they're at 40, but they fill it out. The other person that's 40 is going to have completely different challenges in body systems. And so once we know that, then we can work with that specifically and develop a plan specific to them, right? Cool. And is this all part of your clean heel seal method? Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. It is. So yeah. how does the philosophy of that differ from other nutritional approaches? Oh, quite different. <laughs> um, well, I'd have to say, number one, um, most people just go straight to the diet and the supplements, but they're forgetting that they're full of toxins. And the toxins are endocrine disruptors. And you're wondering why you have belly fat. Well, that's, there's a toxic piece there. Remember, we're 40, we're 50, we're carrying this stuff around. And not only that, we know that that is a fact because in this environment today, babies are born with toxic chemicals in their body, 237 in their umbilical cord. So we already know that we're born toxic. And just think of like 40 years, 50 years, depending on your profession, sometimes you're directly exposed to toxins. And women with their body care products, are you kidding me? We're slathering stuff on our bodies to be beautiful, but really it's disrupting our hormones. And I'm letting you know right now, um, every so much is dictated by our hormones. <laughs> and so here we are doing exogenous hormones or we're buying this supplement, that supplement, when actual the fact is that we're toxic. And so part of like a, a, a root, one of the pillars is we need to do intracellular, we need to get the toxins out. And so even a first step is let's eat these foods that are compatible to your body and let's avoid these right now. Because if we eat these, you're going to inflame and you're going to, you're going to hold on to the toxins. But if we eat these, your, your natural ability to detox will just happen because you're eating clean food. And so there's always like, we meet clients where they are. And some of our clients go, actually, I want to take it to another level. Cause I realize that toxic chemicals are disrupting my hormones mm -hmm. and causing the weight gain. Okay. Well then what I do is I am a, a biotherapeutic drainage practitioner. So I, I actually, oh, cool. um, I, yeah. So I prescribe uh, homeopathic um, undas that go into uh, the body's detoxification system and unlock the door and actually remove the toxic chemicals, sponge it up and get it out of the body, not recirculate it, get out. And now the body can clean because how are you going to put a supplement in? It's not going to go in. It's full of toxic chemicals. So we clean the body and that's why the body feels so good right away. It's like, Oh, thank you. And then we heal it and then we seal it. So that's the one, one of the biggest pieces is a proper uh, detox. The other thing that um, we hear from our clients is that they've tried 
many, many different pro programs. You were talking, mm -hmm. Teresa, about, you know, there's so many diets out there. And these people have been on diets all their lives, mm -hmm. right? They've been on just numerous, let's just say numerous, right? Um, we don't have to name them, but the, they've been on all these different diets. And it's typically eat less, exercise more. <laughs> and that is not the secret at all, right? And so they're they're draining all their nutrition out of their body, which they desperately need mm -hmm. to be able to balance hormones and get rid of toxins and all those kind of things. And then they're putting extra stress into the body by exercising more, really beating themselves to death on this side of the equation, right? Mm -hmm. So it just doesn't balance out. So we help them to create more of a holistic picture and solution for them, right? Yeah, it's a completely different approach. We actually want them to eat more but the right types of yeah. foods so that they're satiated. So they're not tied to the fridge. So they can actually get out and do their work. Cause how, how can you do work when you're thinking about food all the time? No. Can you be with your kids? If you're thinking about food all the time, like, no, one of our clients, So what life is that? One of our clients was sharing with us last week that, you know, she said, when I started with you a year ago, I was at 1600 calories. Yeah. She said, and I was tired and mm -hmm. a variety of different symptoms going on. Mm hmm um, and she was just wasn't happy with her life. And she was saying the other day, she says, now I'm eating 3000 calories. Yes. I've lost all this body fat. Mm -hmm. I feel amazing. I'm bursting out of my skin with mm -hmm. energy. My family's happier. Mm -hmm. I'm happier. Her kids are happier. They're, they're, they're watching the, the um, you know, everything that works going great. Yeah. Uh, she's in the nursing profession. Yeah. Uh, so she's like, boom. Yeah. So cool. Right. Yeah. So yeah. Trying to watch the transformation. Yeah. yeah. And so the approach is, can, we have them look at not the lack, but the, what am I getting? Cause so many, I mean, if, when you think about weight loss programs, you always think about, Oh, now I need to go on a diet. No, you're getting, we're getting, we're, we totally reframe everything. We, we, you know, what we do, we actually put on a different set of glasses on and you see this completely differently. You see this as I'm chasing health to lose the weight. And not only that, you get your life back because you're healthy. And then when you're 80, you could do things like climb not that mountain. mountain exactly but you have to nourish yourself instead of depriving so um that's how we approach it is we get healthy to lose the weight and and our job is to get you healthy if you just get healthy you know everything's going to work and that also means here too yeah absolutely it's so the other thing that happens for our clients is they usually come our message our outgoing message to clients is you know, lose 20 pounds or more in 90 days or less without giving up your favorite food or wine and keeping it off for life, right? However, when they come to us, we find out all these other health challenges that they share with us, right? Oh, I've got sore joints. Oh, I've got this going on. Oh, I've got that going on. I can't do this. I'm limited by this, right? And so we end up helping with all of that, oh, yeah. but it always just starts with the, the weight loss piece, right? But we get to see that on that intake form when they come in, we go, oh, you've got heavy metal toxicity, you've got parasites, you've got adrenal stress, you've got this going on, you've got mm -hmm. um, ob obesogens, right? Whatever it happens to be. So it's fun. Yeah, Most people are walking around it's kind of like a domino rally, just <laughs> all these things that are connected to each other. So True. that's awesome when that you, you look at the whole the picture. Room. That's the thing is we get to, and then they go, no one ever said that before. Okay, well, let's work on that because then everything can work. It's like, if you don't deal with the root cause, it's never going to work. And so that's the other difference here is I am clinical. I've been doing this over two decades. So I've seen a lot. And um, what I do is through my intake form, I can go, oh, this is the real problem. Not that. Yeah. That's not going to work. This is what's going to work. Yeah. And then we... Yeah, go I think that. that's the difference too between working with amazing people like you that are really personalizing things for an individual versus trying to personalize something yourself that's been created for the masses. Yeah, you know, true. mainstream very diet. True. That's very true. Good point. Yeah, yeah good, good, good. Definitely yes. beneficial. So, where can people learn more about what you're doing and how they can work with you? Or see us in Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on my way. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, okay. So we have, um, a, a number of options. First of all, we do have a giveaway for your audience. Lovely. Tell yeah. us about it. Yeah. So yeah. And we'll give you the link for that, but anyways, sure it's in the show notes. Yeah. So we wanted to like solve a quick problem and give you a quick win, um, and show you kind of our, our way that we do that. So it's, um, it's our seven day rapid weight loss uh, plan, which is it's, once a day for seven days, you're actually going to get the strategy that we already give to our clients that gives them results. You're going to get to know exactly what that is. 
and start to see like visible results. And not only that, you'd feel better like every day that you do this yeah. and you get the knowledge you, you, you're getting away from what's not working because that doesn't work. This, this is the health. And so this is where we're moving you to. So we're going to show you what that is. It's a free one. Awesome. And um, yeah, so that's the giveaway. And we also have a, a free community so that, cause we all know that support's really important, especially those that are so used to um, victim, which is fine. It's not your fault. It's just your brain. So it's like, listen, if you're living still in the past, we need to move you to who you want to be your potential. That's what the group is. Everyone's here living in their potential. And this is where you need to land and live every single day. And so we remind you what that is with the tools and that's the free community. So we have, we have, we have that available for you. Will you have show notes that people can go to or show? Betcha, we... Everything's going to be in there. So Alrighty. I will make sure it's all linked so that people can easily find that awesome giveaway and your community as well. And any other information that you want to give me too. So um, what is the main program that you um, do when you work with people? Is it your clean heel seal or is it called something yeah. else? Yeah. So what it is, is here's the thing. We, we, we put you back into school. <laughs> you are a student. You're a student of health. We're going to teach you how to be healthy because what's out there is not healthy. So we actually have to like not do what they're doing. <laughs> and so we're going to put you into a new classroom. Okay. And so we're going to be able to have fun. Um, and it's like a 90 day because really you want to give it, you want to build a solid foundation. It's a, it's a, it's kind of like this. Here's a really good analogy. You, you find this neighborhood that you just like feels good. You know, this, this, this is my vibe. Okay. And then you see this house and it's like, oh, it's not quite what I want, but I really like the location. It just feels right. You know, it needs some like work. Okay. So then you, you choose that and you go, okay, I want to renovate that home. That's going to be my new home. So that's like you, what we're doing is we have this home that we're going to renovate. And so when, if you're going to renovate a home, you don't just put furniture into a dirty home. No, we start with cleaning it out. That means cleaning out old toxic habits that aren't working, cleaning out like messages that you're telling yourself that are just stories, like cleaning out, like even your personal care products that are causing hormone disruption. You're going to know what those are. You're going to clean out your environment. You're going to clean out your mind. And you're that's, so it's like walking in here and you're going to bring in the cleanup crew into this renovated home that you want to renovate. So you clean it up, bring the cleanup crew. And then the heel part is you want to put your energy into this clean home right and so and then you seal it with the furniture and now you have a spa home you have the home that you've always wanted that you can live in and feel so good that's the program. That's a perfect analogy because this body is our home for the whole time that we're living this life in it so it's really important to take very good care of it and treat it like that beautiful spa home or temple or however you want to describe it yeah. that it is yeah. Well, thank you both for, for being here today. I really appreciate everything that you shared. Is there any kind of closing thought or mantra or something that you think, um, you know, listeners today need to hear as we close out? Well, yeah, the first thing is um, it takes loving yourself enough to take that step. And quite often, if we've been abused We've had been in victim mode. We've been told you're not good enough. You can't do this. You're not smart enough. You're not good, whatever. Those are stories. Yeah. Do you want to live in that story or do you want to live in your potential? Because really, um, you've been seeing this as previews throughout your life. You know what they are. It's like, I know I could do that, uh, but I'm too scared. Oh, I know I can do it. You, these are little previews, little movies that you're they're there for a reason. You are not a mistake. You are here for a reason. And if you want to like reach your, like just go and move into your potential, this is where you need to go. Okay. Hmm. I want to explore this and then just take one little step. And that means finding somebody who's already done it. So you don't have to waste 10, 20 years. And you know, is that the right vibe? Then hire a coach. Like I, you don't want to wait 20 years and <laughs> maybe us, maybe some, I don't care, but just find someone who's find doing somebody. what you want and then follow their lead because they've already made the mistakes. They know what they are. So then all you do is you just love the journey and then you've got your spot home. That's, that's my message to you. Yeah. That first step is so important because the ripples just happen from there. Once you get a, get a toe in the water, you can really start seeing that effect start taking place. So thank you for that wonderful advice. Thank you for being here. And for all of you listening, thank you so much for choosing Becoming More Me. I know there are so many podcasts you can listen to these days and I appreciate you choosing this one.
for spending some of your precious time with me today. If you love this episode, please leave a review or simply share it with someone else who would get great benefit from it too. If you share on social media, please tag me so I can personally connect and thank you. Until next time, keep taking bold and brave steps towards becoming more of who you want to be in this world. You are capable, you are worthy, and you are enough. And if your inner critic is still trying to argue with those facts, hit me up. We've got work to do.